Hello, YouTube! Hello! And we are back! In action. With... Maybe not. Max was a little bit wounded there, but... Um... <laughs> we are back nonetheless! And we are here to try to build a gigantic fort, at least the, out the outline, tonight. While it's all dark and there could be lots of things spawning, and I came back. It's gonna Hello. be a very exciting episode. Yes, because we decided to do it during the night time, so this is gonna be very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and we don't have we don't have many torches around, so I can make some. A high probability. I know, but it's more exciting if the viewers see the the randomness that starts to spawn. Okay. So, I need some help. How should we structure this? This is obviously the gateway to... Uh, let's see. I'll be right over. Come on, come on, come on. Ow. But... <laughs> Alright, I'm over here. It's kind of dark. Um... Video brightness is on bright. Alright, it doesn't look like it. Uh, alright. Let this area a little bit, and then we can continue to work through the night. Yes. I am building the, I think, outline of this. I need to start clearing out some of this land. Okay, this needs to, like, move up. We kind of want the land, though, because we need to kind of make it... Well, we, we don't want there to be this giant hill inside of our room. That is more true than anything. Alright. Okay, continue. <laughs> It's gonna say, it's looking look pretty weird if you have like this giant hill in the middle of your room, you're just like eating dinner and you're like, wait a second. <laughs> what is this? I'm gonna turn down my volume a little bit, I think it might be droning you out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Tends you're to do a little that. bit loud right now. Definitely, friends do that. Okay, people. And we are back with our new new and improved thing so as you can see nothing has happened yet we are just going to build the fort that we that we've been wanting to build for a little bit the time might have changed that's because you know there's a little bit of lag between us getting off me shutting down the server and us bringing back up the server and us getting logged in so if, if the time's a little different than where we ended on the last episode sorry but yes we are very sorry for that not really shouldn't be much um, of an issue though shouldn't be much of an issue we are basically here to talk, to basically have fun and poke, you know, fun poke at things. things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, I'm running through. Things? No. <laughs> I'm running through cobble like that. Yeah, we're gonna need to do some major cobble gathering pretty soon. Once I clear this area, I'll go get some cobble for you. Good, because we actually do need cobblestone. One of those rare moments. <laughs> one of those, yes, definitely one of those rare moments where you need cobble. Quite weird, but, you know, happens. Okay, so we have kind of a basic wall developing. It looks... Hmm. Good. Oh, I should probably go smell this 19 iron I have. <laughs> yeah, that might be useful. Okay. So we have that, let me smelt this in the smelting device. Okay, let me put away my apples. Two diamond, and... Oh my goodness, oh, I have so much Oh, my shovel iron. broke. Back to the house Good to job. craft another shovel. Good job, man. I've never heard that before. Me neither. Spider anyway. is chasing me, why not just kill it? Because it is encroaching uh, on. All right, killed it. <laughs> oh man, this, this, I don't know. This might be commentary worthy. This might not be. I guess we'll all decide. But you know, me, Max, and I were were well, you know, kind of at the gym today. Kind of. You remember Max? <laughs> I have this vague memory of working out. Yeah. <laughs> And basically, we started, like, you know, talking of things, and we eventually got to the subject tacos. of, what was it? <laughs> tacos. No, remember Not I was tacos. talking about all the seasoning? 
but close. Gosh, you should listen. <laughs> anyway, what? <laughs> no, we started talking about just like the facts of human anatomy and just like, just like where, you know, kind of where everything's going in like video games and mm, this was uh, a couple day? days ago actually this that wasn't we today, talking yeah i remember that conversation can you kind of relate to the viewers what we yeah had? all right so we were doing the um hip abductions you if you guys know what those are quite awkward to do no don't don't explain <laughs> so we were, we were doing those hip abductions and we were just kind of talking well that, this is where it started and we were just kind of talking we were talking about how not just video games but the media in general has been getting kind of Kind of repetitive. I mean, they come up with some cool idea, like say, for example, something to do with vampires, and then everyone just sucks the bone dry. Everyone just remakes it and remakes it until no one wants to hear about vampires anymore. Until the critics are like, no, and then they say, all right, all right, all right, and then they wait for something else to come out, and then they all copy it again. And so, you know, it's easy to see in media, um, like for example, in books, or in movies. It's a little bit harder to see in video games sometimes because. Obviously, there is, you know, you're distracted with gameplay, and the gameplay is different for every person, whereas a movie watching, you may get different things out of it, but the, the actual image displayed is the exact same, unless you're, like, colorblind and it swaps colors out for you. But that's another topic. But yeah, so, we were noticing in media, it just seems to be going downhill. You know, Call of Duty, they recycle the same kind of storyline of you're the hero, and you're always on the American side, of course, and then, you know, you're... the bad guys are... Huh? You pay... The bad guys are either the Russians or the terrorists, and at the very end, you have some kind of action pass pack scene with the boss, where you sustain damage and have to go through really, 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 really annoying slow mo motions. Have and this is not the only game. I mean, we're just not we're not just knocking on Call of Duty. I mean, I like Call of Duty as a game, but it happens everywhere. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. could also talk about Battlefield. I mean, who did not? Who has not heard of a terrorist attack? Anywhere. And do you really think they did a very original job of it? I mean, that does seem... Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not I haven't really actually played much. Battlefield Storyline. Um, I'm just talking from what I've heard and seen, guys. So if I make a mistake, just feel free to correct me in the comments. It was basically the guy is stopping this terrorist group that wants to, like, destroy, destroy cities and, and the world. Uh -huh. Okay, so you get to that point where you're just like, okay, I'm gonna try to read this and, you know, react to it in a good uh -huh. manner. Basically, just as I said, it comes down to a final moment where you're on this train. This actually, I'm making this sound more exciting than this is. You're on the train, and you basically fight through many, many bad guys, and eventually reach the main boss, who you have a big slow-mo motion with him, very emotional. You like almost die, but you don't because you shoot him right before Course. he kills you. Yeah, yeah, a typical game. And I'm not trying to sound like a like a hipster or anything. Like, oh, this is so mainstream. But I mean, come on, there is no originality in anything in today's world, in like any story plot. To the point of Max had said. To the point of Max had said, um. Look at the fact of like, of like just monsters in general. Yeah. Like, just monsters in general. They are now described as the heroes, the people that you should be around with, and the people that you should go to when things Wait, are what? bleak. Just think about it. Um, what is it? Vampires are now described in today's pop culture are described as the heroes. Werewolves are described as heroes. Somewhat. Some movies make them the uh, enemies, but alright, go on. Most, most movies now fall in that trend of Twilight. Which is a very annoying yes. trend, may I add? Twilight's a different topic. <laughs> um, Twilight. <laughs> well, we're on the subject oh, God. of Twilight. <laughs> that book, guys... I don't know why anyone likes it. It's okay. an okay story to start out it with, the ideas and whatnot, but I don't feel it's very well written at all. It's overused. And, I mean, 
Who heard of glistening vampires? Who in the world heard of glistening vampires? I guess it's one of my main complaints about it is the fact that this glistening vampire. They got doused by glitter. Show. They were like, you know what they were doing? They were like, and guys, I haven't read Twilight past like 50 pages, and I was like, uh, I'm not going to read this anymore. Um, but, so, I don't know all my facts, but I think what likely happened was something to the effect of, you know, the vampire Edward or whatever his name is, or Jacob, whatever, was just kind of walking one day, and he saw someone and he tried to attack him, and the guy had, you know, a thing of glitter, and he just chucked it at the vampire, and they remember, well, I was like, ah, I'm fabulous! And then that's where the story started. Am I pretty close, guys? You are off by a lot, but I'll give you credit well, for Well, I think it would be the only logical, it's probably more logical than how they made it sound in the book, right? <laughs> yeah, basically. I mean, the book is stereotypical with the fact that the vampire falls in love with the human, they eventually come, get to be together. Um, the book has kind of a semi-good idea with, like, the vampires living with the humans and they don't want to kill us or suck our blood. But then it just kind of spirals downhill very quickly with, like, just... They concentrate too much on the love aspect between... In fact, I bet you guys saw these with, like, the Team oh, Jacobs and Team Edward no signs everywhere. <laughs> I mean, no one cares. And first of all, we if you actually read the books, you already knew True. who won. It wasn't like it wasn't like a big surprise. It wasn't so. like a sporting event or anything like that, you I know? I don't see how that... Yeah, yeah, we, we already know who the clear victor was, Edward. Um, just, I might as well say that now, just so Max Yeah, I was just supposed to say, I didn't know that. <laughs> I looked... <laughs> Anyways. So, you know, it just kind of gets recycled. And that's what kind of media has become, because now look at all these movies that have come out after Twilight. Vampire, vampire Diaries, things. perfect example. Now, granted, they're all like... Yes, definitely Vampire Diaries. A perfect example of that kind of trend to keep... Keep with the same stupid Until it gets so thing. overused that no one wants to hear it anymore. I mean... Oh, and then yeah, they move on yeah, to exactly. something else. Then they destroy something I else. Mean, most... mm -hmm. I mean, no one wants to hear... This is just coming from my own perspective. No one wants to hear about um, Harry Potter anymore. Well, a couple people, but yeah. Or... <laughs> Do you really I want to hear about Harry Potter, man? I still pretty into it. And that, that's fine. I mean, Harry Potter, I wasn't too crazy about the writing, but I think the actual storyline was pretty good. And that was relatively original, I'll admit yeah. it. But now? I thought the whole Harry Potter series was fairly original, didn't you? Yeah, I thought they... Now, that was an original idea that the media actually did not ruin. Because it was fairly new... It was fairly, like, straightforward with all the wizardry and all this cool stuff that you could do. I mean, the idea was really, really great. The books were really, really good. Um, well, the writing what the writing style wasn't was too predictable in my mind. Oh my goodness, there's an There's Edmund. two of them, actually. No, there were two of them. Never mind, what? one of them was gone. There were two of them when I came down here. I was kind of like, oh crap. <laughs> okay, I got a bucket. I don't. Do you have your bucket? On on the bright side, I do have some stacks What's of cobblestone that? for you. Good, but I'm right now defending myself against an endo. I see. And that brings us to our next point. I mean, just look <laughs> at it. The way Which is humans so quickly go through media and expect more. Yes, the way... Ha ha. You try to kill me. Come on, come on, Endo, 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 Endo. I'll shut up now. Come on, Endo, Endo, look at me, look at me, Endo. Come on, look at me, I'm looking directly at you. I wish I had a bow and arrow right now. This would so be effective. I'm afraid to leave. If I leave, he'll like attack me now. Come on, I'm looking direct. Okay, come on. If I get this water out and it kills me, I'm going to be merely <laughs> mad at Notch. Okay, anyways, but... Um, basically, the way humans consume media so quickly, like, 
for example, think of like an album, for example. What, what kind of album came out in, say, 2011 that everyone was all excited about and all hyper about? Well, you know what? Probably no one cares about that album anymore, and everyone's on to something else. And it's so quick. It's like, in just a couple months, this great album is already old simply because people move on to something better. And it's still a great album with still great music in it. That could kind of be compared to a YouTube yeah. channel, in fact. I mean, look at all... I mean, not... I'm going to try not to back you. Me and Max are not the biggest YouTubers out there. <laughs> I consider us... I consider us better than a lot of... Than a lot For example, of if you guys saw Richard HG or HQ Inc. It was these two he? little whiny kids that were like... Um, basically, like, during one of the commentaries, I mean, they, ca they commented on Captain Sparkle's video, and so everyone started, like, flaming them. They had, like, 70 dislikes on one of their videos. But basically, alright, here's the cobblestone I have. Enjoy. Yeah, I need some cobble. So do we want a double wall, or do we want a single wall? Uh, whatever you think. I'm gonna just finish kind of clearing out this area. It's up to you. So anyhow, they were basically, and they closed their account. But it was these two, like, screaming little five-year-olds or something who had, like, no clue what they were doing, and they were, like, running around, and they were, like, one of them broke a hole in the ice in water and then fell down and almost drowned. And they were just... And, and it's what? not just their gameplay. I'm not just knocking on their gameplay. I mean, even with bad gameplay, you can have some really good commentary. But the commentary deserved no merit either. While ours isn't exactly exciting, it at least isn't them screaming at each other, I can't find a tree, I found a tree, and going, oh my god, and over dramatizing everything, the point where it, it just, it's like, you feel like just screaming at them, and, because <laughs> they were so annoying, there were these little, like, five-year-olds, and they were, like, doing something, and their mom said something, and they're like, shut up, I'm doing a commentary, <laughs> it's like, yeah, luckily what? they closed their account, but they what? were quite annoying. Yeah, that, it's not. that's not good. You don't scream about your mom. You get you get instantly yelled at by the parent-teacher union. <laughs> Which is actively patrolling YouTube, might I add. <laughs> oh, they got so much hate mail. They closed their that's uh, a, that is account, actually. Speaking of hate mail, don't we all remember Rebecca Oh, God, Black? why? <laughs> why did you have to remind me of that pain? I'm Because I think it's one of the most interesting hate mail. <laughs> I've never seen so many. I like how she dislikes. she's talking about like um you know, oh Friday, which seat do I take? And then she switches over to listing out the days of the week and telling you that, hey, did you know Saturday comes after Friday? Yeah. Mhm. Mm no crap. <laughs> she's smart. That was <laughs> James. Anyhow. <laughs> That's that's what James saw. He, he like watched the video and he was like, ah, am I right? All right. We'll go with that. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, but yeah. You know, it just yeah. Oh, you, okay. Not impressed Moving by people who know people. the days of the week. If they don't know it Anyways. by now, that's sad. That's really sad. Okay, I think this is high enough for yep. us to start. Now, Max, you are the sculptor. You get to sculpt the actual structure. I just oh built God, the actual what? general design. Come out here and Do look I at the general. Do I even want to know? Okay, how does it look inside from it looks going? pretty good. Alright, so I can see this well, big... I ah! Alright, I can see this... Ah, I can't see it right now. Alright, I can see this big gigantic wall. Okay, now how do you think we should sculpt it to look cooler no and more idea. realistic? I'm not a builder. <laughs> Let me get up there first. Okay. And then I'll throw some ideas around. It's actually... Nah, there's not really much... There's not really much for that. I mean, sometimes it's good to just have silence in your just YouTube channel. Silence. Let's all have a moment of silence for Richard H. Queuing closing no. their account. <laughs> just kidding. Alright. Ah... Uh... Okay, there. I created awesome. an easy way to get up. Hey, this actually intersects with our ma with our building. That's I'll actually mean. add that in. All right. So you're talking about adding some character to it? 
Yeah, not making it all, right. all 2D. Uh, Make it I'm gonna do that old. I'm gonna recycle that old classic idea we did back in our like one point whatever it was, 1.5 world, 1.6 world with that wall. Um, it was what? like the little. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm out of. I'm practically out of cobble. All right. Uh. Yep. Oh, well, also I was thinking, where do you think I'm the door right should go? Yeah, where you're digging looks pretty good. Actually. Okay, I'll make it double. You wanna throw me some uh, cobble okay. real quick? That way we Let me kill these two zombies. Alright, how are you doing on food and health by the way? I hate Good lag still there. Don't know why, but alright. I don't know why. Exactly. I'm gonna kill this skelly. Oh no! I'm all in health! And the skeleton glitched the I got wall. this one covered. Oh, it died. Dude, kill all that right. one! We're all good. I think. Okay, let me eat some. Wow, I only have like half a half a health and it, not half a health, half a hunger, and it was not generating for me. That's just stupid. All right, then. Minecraft, the game, the game that does not quit annoying people, just like World of Warcraft. Why? I've actually never played World of Warcraft. <laughs> um, I've heard it's, I've heard very mixed reviews about it. It's very addicting for like the first yeah. month or two, and then you get really bored of it, and you leave, and then you come back to it later on where you find out there's new features, you play for that for about a week or two, then you leave it again, and then you just continue that cycle for like six years, and then finally you decide, you know, I wasted enough time on this, and you sell the account oh, for 50 right. bucks. If you, and if you're really, really lucky, you could sell it for like 25 I see. Kind of like RuneScape, then. Okay. Oh, well, thank you for joining us for this series. That was a very short-lived series. I will take. Well, actually, Max is still in it. Are you kidding me? All right then. So, um. Well, the building idea is cool. I think I'm going to take a little bit of time off. Is it, you're just still going to stay on for the commentary, right, James? All right. Sure, man. So, at least for now, we'll figure out what we're going to do yeah, with this series later on. But he's going to stay on for the commentary for now, and hopefully in the future. Depending on how he feels. Uh, maybe he can just, like, ghost and fly around and follow me, whatever he wants. But, anyhow. Um... I think I'm going to... I need some more cobblestone... I think I'm just going to make this kind of like a big internal box kind of area, and then move from there with decorations, furnishings. Uh, we'll okay. Is it time to end the episode, though? About a couple more minutes. I'm going to just play till the break of dawn. So, uh, uh, let's... I just wanted to count. I just wanted to count. Would you technically count if I, if I died with the fact with the fact that my thing was lagging out while I was running away from a skeleton. Uh, I, I don't did know. not what see do you it. Think? I don't know at this point because that I hate my computer. Let's just leave it like that. This thing has glitched. I can't go into any combat without things just like glitching, spazzing out. And I I even adjusted to tiny render distance. Right, I think I you have a virus on your computer, but we'll 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 do the troubleshooting thing later, but Ah! Hmm. Ow! What could we do? Oh my god, I feel stupid. I just almost died. In the same manner of which you died. Not not glitching, though. Oh, hi. I fell off that wall up there. No, I got shot by a skeleton that I did not even see that was glitching fell down off the in the wall. Of that, the hit of the shot? Yeah. I don't know, it's yep. up to you. What do you think? You're, you're the one who experienced it. First, I'm going to kill the skeleton right. that killed me. <laughs> <laughs> and... I don't know. Well, it's kind of up to you. You know how it happened. I, w I don't know. Well, we could just end it now. Serious? Well, this is definitely the end of the episode, so thank you for joining us.
and we will see you next time, whether it's this series or something else.